What is going on guys? It's Chris and I'm back. Today's video is on how to use Seachem Stability and my review on this product. But first, let's do some updates. Hey, baby kit, that water's not good for you, just so you know. So all the tanks are doing pretty well around here. The plants are growing like crazy. I'm gonna have cuttings coming soon. I have a lot of friends reaching out for cuttings. That's super awesome, but you gotta know I can only supply so much. So here's the product we're talking about today, Seacom Stability. I got this crazy cool light from uh, Nylock G that I'm super excited to set up. Um, I got some products from Hyger to review. I have the Beta Fish Heaters. You guys may have seen these. So look for videos on that. Um, everything else is pretty much the same. I just got done building the back of this entertainment center. It's a 55 gallon tank. I decided to go with two 55s and 20s on the side. Um, what else? The office is going pretty well. I just did a review video on the Eco Complete, and I don't like this stuff. Uh, you can check out my other channel. I just did a review on it. It's just... What I did was I threw in a couple plants, my two easiest plants, Jungle Val and Water Sprite, and it just it just didn't take. So what I did was I threw this Java Moss in here to kind of like absorb some of the light. Um, it's a long story though, uh, showing you guys some of the other tanks. What we're trying to do with a lot of these tanks now is set them up for breeding. Like this is a platy breeding tank here now. We have three females in here and one male. Uh, essentially this tank is the same thing. We have two females and one male in here, etc., etc. This moss is doing extremely well. I absolutely love this stuff. Again, three females, one male with the black mollies. Or wait, I guess I do see some little guppies in there. We'll have to take those out. It doesn't hurt. What we're just trying to do here is kind of just like make breeding a lot easier and efficient. So guys, let's talk about the product of today's video. Seachem Stability. I'm gonna show you guys how to use this stuff. Uh, right off the bat, the directions say, shake very well before use, use one capful for every 10 gallons on the first day if it's a new aquarium, and then use one capful for every 20 gallons for every day for seven days. So here's the new tanks that I'm setting up and I'm gonna be using the Seachem Stability on. Um, as you can see, Baby Kit's going to be joining, it, joining us today. So what we have here is five 10-gallon aquariums, and these are newly set up. You may remember this was maybe set up differently a couple weeks ago, but I decided to go with the long way on these tanks just because the window gives these tanks a lot of UV, and I was having algae issues, and I'm hoping setting them the other way helps that. So... So let's just jump right into uh, applying this stability to the tanks. So these are the five tanks I'm going to be dosing today with Seachem Stability. I'm showing you essentially how to use this stuff. So this is brand new. The directions say to first thoroughly shake the jug of stability. So that is done. Next, we are going to open it. There's a little metal seal on here. And it says to dose one cap full per every 10 gallons on a brand new aquarium, a new setup. And a lot of people are sort of, uh, they don't really believe in this stuff because, you know, some people will argue that, you know, that the bacteria doesn't live without refrigeration. And a lot of people say that, you know, like the Fritz products are a lot better. But here's the deal. Seachem stability is actually the spores of the beneficial bacteria that's used to cycle the aquarium. Baby kit wants to get involved. So what I'm doing here is just pouring a cap full per every tank because each of these are 10 gallon aquariums, obviously. And then after this, um, this is a, a, essentially a seven day process. And for every single day, we're gonna cut that dosage in half. And you know, like tomorrow, I'm gonna dose half a cap full. So I'm gonna dose all those for every single day until like, I'll probably do till like day five. So because the stability is the nitrifying bacteria, we need a source of ammonia. So there's two ways to get ammonia. If you're doing a fish in cycle, obviously the fish waste is going to be the ammonia source. 
If you don't do a fish in cycle, which I urge you not to do, you should do a fish list cycle so no fish are harmed in the making. Um, you need, uh, what the go-to is a pinch of fish food. This works great. Essentially what happens is you do a little pinch of fish food and it breaks down and causes ammonia in the tanks. Just a tiny little bit works great. Um, and, there, and during the like seven day process, I don't add any more food usually. Some people do. I understand there's a lot of uh, kind of controversy and like people kind of arguing about this, but that's literally all I do to feed the cycle the ammonia. It's the next day and we are going to be dosing the stability again. And like I said, uh, for the next couple days, we are going to be dosing half of what we did the first day. So that's half a capful. And we are going to do that for every single tank until like uh, day three. So tomorrow what I'll probably do is I will test that and we'll come back to that and see our results. All right guys, so it is day seven now and I have been dosing the Seachem Stability for seven days now. And essentially, you could get I could get super technical in explaining the nitrogen cycle, uh, but here's the deal. What you wanna look for when dosing with stability is the nitrates because what what you're bypassing here is the adding ammonia cycle because the whole cycling process is adding ammonia, having it change to nitrates and then nitrates, you're essentially skipping all that and getting the bacteria in a bottle. So what we're gonna do now, you essentially know you have a cycle when you test for nitrates. So coming over here, I would, I would highly advise you buy yourself a liquid test kit or else test strips. I know that a lot of people trash talk test strips, but I highly, I use these things all the time. I love them. I don't care what anyone says because I, I feel like a lot of people even screw up liquid test kits. They expire. Um, I don't know, I really love these things. So what I'm gonna do now is test for nitrates. This is really simple. And all you do with these test strips, um, all you do is dunk it in and take it out and set it down. So I let the test strip sit for a little while now and essentially what I'm looking for is this bottom coloration and that's the nitrates. So if we go over to our little scale here, I had to grab this on the phone. I've been doing this stuff for so long that I know all the colors by heart. So here's the nitrates and what you do is you put that pink up next to it and figure out what you have. This looks to be about 20 to 50 parts per million. So that tells me that our cycle is good and dandy, and if you have any skepticism, skepticism, what you can do is you can test for ammonia. Because if you test ammonia in your tank, chances are your cycle's screwed up, you gotta start over. Um, this, using Seachem Stability, it's a, much, it's, a, it's a much better thing to use than like a fish in cycle, because like I was saying, the fish get burned, they, they get gill burn. Um, that's a whole other side topic, but yeah, hopefully this helps you on learning how to use Seachem Stability. Um, this stuff is great. It is the spores to the beneficial bacteria. It does not need to be refrigerated. Um, I, you know, I'm skeptic on a lot of Seachem products, but this is one that I'm not. So I give it uh, five stars. It works great for jump, cy jump cycling aquariums. Um, yeah, let me know in the comment section what you guys think of this. If you need help, I'll be in the comments. All right, guys.